Hello guys, and welcome to the finale of Halo Wars. We are going to be finishing up the Halo Wars campaign by doing the last mission entitled No Escape. And then after that, this, we, I will probably be releasing the last bit of extras, which involves the, An the Anders, um, Anders and the Prophet of Regret in a skirmish match and then a multiplayer match and then kind of after that it's probably gonna be all done for and then I'll be going on to probably some of my old projects so pretty much without uh, even spacing out even more we are gonna go on and finish this game. So let's go on with chapter 15, campaign 15, whatever. Gentlemen, we're burning sunshine here. Sir, it's already over here. I'll have to separate the core and the line of manually when they need to blow. Son, I have a feeling before this is over, we'll need every last spark in the fight. I can do this. Report back to the ship. Good luck, sir. It's been an honor. So what a uh, way to go off. Right. The alien technology will only react to human touch. Any other alien life nearby will lock the system. Alright, so clear out the area around this airlock. Station upgrade complete. So like I was 
Rose's turn to say, uh, what a way to go out, like a badass. to every possible UNSC super unit and power in the game. You have the Mac Glass, Carpet Bomb, and Cryo. Along with that, you can make ODST, you can make Hawks, and Grizzlies. So, why not go out with a Bane? <clears throat> so, to pretty much uh, say what is going on with this, uh, for the achievement, you need to open all the doors in the correct order, and some people might get a little confused with it, but, um, to do that, ah, uh, sorry, the very first door to open is this one right in front of the base, and then you have to go all the way across. For her. <laughs> Why not? Right where that scarab is, that is going to be the second one to unlock. I'm also mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that should be the second area you unlock. But uh, before we do that, we are going to build up our forces because. Well, we don't want to kind of get screwed over. So, we're going to build uh, two reactors. We're going to get the ODSC super unit out of the way. And then, after we get the ODST, we are pretty much going to go with uh, Hawks. Here's one. Because I just love Hawks. I will not deny it. I really do love Hawks more so than, uh, than, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Grizzlies. And also, you got some Forerunner uh, supply pads around the, this map, so you can gain that. And also, you can lock the areas between, uh, you and the Covenant base, which is kind of right in this area, I believe. So, uh, you might want to do that. Well, hurry up at the RPG. So, one reason I built this Warthog is to go get the Black Box in this area. And the Black Box should be, uh, north across Reactor your improved. position, so... Well, that's the score. Force the cutter. I'm beginning my ascent. Estimate 30 minutes to the detonation site. Let's roll. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh... It should be right across from your base. Ready. I might be mistaken about that. But, uh... It RPG should be somewhere reset. close around oh, these kind of pillars. So uh, you can just kind of move around there and look for it. And it should definitely be kind of close to the pillars. Yep, there it is. There's the black box, the final one for this uh, mission. So you can kind of just kill your warhog off if you uh, if you want to, and then just gonna continue doing what you were doing. So, <clears throat> as to what All else units. kind of going on about, um, what, in order to get the skull for this mission, you have got to kill three of these suckers, and there will be three made eventually, so you don't really have to worry about, uh, 
wor uh, worry about killing them. The only thing I do kind of advise is you might want to kind of get units out fast enough so you can uh, keep on killing the scarab fast and uh, that way you can just go one after another after another without seeing or having to worry about uh, the time limit running out and that I was gonna say that scare sees that is part ten. Yeah, and if it, unfortunately you cannot. Uh, uh, what was it? You can't go and uh, jack the scarab from them um, anymore. So kind of a little bummer. And uh, yeah, I think I jumped. So that might not have been my best idea yet. But it kind of looks like, oh no. I was about to say, it kind of looks like Alice might make it. Yeah. So we got the ODSC units, we're going to get an air pad going. And we are going to drop ODST around, uh, oops. Gonna drop an ODSC around the Spartan and get the hell out of there before uh, they die again. Yes, of course we are going to need the spawns so they can actually uh, live. So we're going to move all our units that way, get the air pad up, get the weaming and uh, everything we need from there. Also one thing I'd recommend is you do not want to leave any ground forces or vehicles on a plate that you're uh, trying to activate like this one. Uh, this one or this one or else you will pretty much sit there and uh, have it die. So uh, like I was saying, you know, any, any alien life forces within the console system, it's going to lock it so you can't activate it. So you're going to have to keep on killing forces to in order to actually release the lock and like I said once you release both of the locks it drops so that is one reason I did say you do not want to have uh, any forces right there and since they're uh, kind of attacking me I gotta drop some ODST right there and uh, kill off these forces. Oh, there's a scarab. Wait, is no scarab just made his way right there, Danny. Wait. Oh, I was supposed to say, why does this one go over there? Um. So we're gonna get the Spartan back up. Gonna have them rendezvous out, go over there. Just kind of protect that. Gonna take all of these ODSC that we uh, dropped to protect our base over there to kind of. Oh, what was it? gonna send them over there to kind of protect and we're gonna get some hawks up in the air so like I said there is a covenant base over there well right there actually so uh, do make sure you can uh, 
stay away from it until I get a decent amount of forces to protect you. And about the interior lock, what, which order to uh, activate them in, in order to uh, actually get the achievement. We already done the first one, A, 1A and 1B right there. So we're going to be moving on to two, 2A and 2B, which uh, is not this one, so do not go towards that. That is actually 3B, I believe. So uh, the next one you are going to be going for is this one right here. So once we get some hawks up in there and kind of get the Spartans, we are going to be uh, going over there. Yeah, I'm aware of that. But well, guess what? I'm gonna be busy trying to kill the Scarrow. Wherever he dipped to. <laughs> Seriously, I don't even know where the Scarab went. <laughs> All I know is the Scarab was right like there, there, and last time I saw it was right there, so hell all I know is he could have blocked. Yeah, and is planning to get over revenge. So now that we got three hawks we need, we're gonna send them over to where our Spartans are. We're actually gonna take down this and get a field armory up and running. Because the one thing that's gonna help us is Mac Blast, who kill off the scarabs much more easier. Since about three, four uh, well placed shots on the, the scarab will actually kill it off. So do keep that in mind. Oh, there it is. Hang on. I was saying here, I was like, wait, why are you not targeting, uh, whatever you call it? And there is a secondary base right here, which I kind of already saw on you. And if you want to take it, you're free to take it, but you do want to kind of clear out the area beforehand so that your base isn't being constantly attacked. And it kind of looks like I might have missed some uh, units over here. So we're going to clear out the base from that area. Got the field armory out, so we're going to upgrade our Mac Blast and uh, get reinforcements upgraded too. Now that we got that taken care of the way, we should be good. Got another forerunner supplies right here, so you can go over there and take that. Uh, yeah, wrong thing. We're gonna place the ODS here over there and take over this one. And we cleared out that area, so we're gonna come over here and clear out this forerunner. Uh, we're gonna get a factory depot and a field army over here, so we can get the grizzlies and upgrade some more of our stuff two at a time, and make some units at the same time. Hold on, there's the scarab. So. Uh, I kind of advise you to kind of get a decent amount of units out to attack the Scarab. And one thing you can do for uh, helping to actually hit the Scarab is you can kind of uh, freeze it at first so that the Scarab can't move away from when you Mac Blast it. Although that's pretty much usually when. Uh, you're playing uh, multiplayer since the players will kind of move the scarab around so it doesn't get destroyed easily. And uh, as you can kind of see, uh, you want to kind of make a good amount of soldiers so that you can actually 
deal with that. Fours. Uh, unlike what I did, so. And I guess we don't even need this field armor anymore. So we're gonna make another supply pad and just gonna get this over with. So we're upgrading to our grizzly units. We're gonna take care of everything here in the middle. Since, uh, why not? And then there's our last Spartan. That was it. Uh, Oh. At least we still got 18 minutes to go. In reality, this mission is short because all you really got to do is pretty much, if you really want to, just get ODST and ODST drop around the consoles and drop the consoles from each area. And that's pretty much all you gotta do for this mission in all honesty. So we're just kinda doing the little uh, skull to obviously complete the game and complete the tutorial even though I know I missed one skull on I cannot think of the mission it was right now. Alright, I was about to see where is that Wraith I was attacking. And one reason I actually do kind of advise to make Hawks over uh, Grizzlies is because Hawks are kind of more fast and agile than tanks and they're easier to move around this map so you can easily just go from one place to another and take an out everything you need to take out but then again you got the whole race that you have to worry about so not race because those are easy to take out oh come on I didn't even mean to take it rats you know what I'm gonna have some wreath over there so I can just go die not to be rude. Oh, look at that. Actually, you can't even get grizzlies on this one. That sucks. <laughs> so we're just actually going to destroy this and call it good. My bad for a uh, false advertisement right there. I really thought uh, you got grizzlies in here along with pretty much all, all the super units, but I guess not. I mean, at least you get all the leader powers although Mac Blast is the only one you can actually upgrade all the way <laughs> so what we're gonna do is pretty much make a full population of hawks and we're gonna put uh, Spartans inside them why wouldn't we Sorry about that, no. And actually, one thing you can actually note about this map is that... Uh, I just actually noticed this, not even gonna lie, but, uh... The population cap is at 50, which is kind of above the original maximum when you're actually playing this game. So it's actually uh, one thing you can uh, use to your advantage. Alright, where's the hog? Oh, right there. Like I said, we're gonna pretty much put all the squad teams inside a hog to uh, help us. Okay, Ooh, there's our second scarab we need to kill. Yeah, and I'm not trying to be a dick by killing off all the ODSCs I have, but I'm just trying to get rid of them so I can build some hawks. So 
so like I said, if you want to, you can ice the stair first before you uh, max blast it so it can't move like that, and then you're pretty much golden for uh, doing whatever the hell you want. Really, that was our third scarab already? I honestly did not know that. <laughs> but alright. Oh, I guess when we dropped the bridge, so that was probably when uh, we got that. So we're gonna come over here, grab our final skull, and we are pretty much gonna call it a good mission. Because after. After, uh, what was it? After getting that, we are pretty much good for everything we need to do on this mission. So, we are gonna find, uh, attempt to do the achievement, which was release all the control panels in order. And, like I said, this was 1A. 1B, 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B. So just kind of recap, so there goes 2A. And uh, like I said, you're not going to really see the achievement pop up since I already have it. <clears throat> so we're going to send our hawks over here and uh, get rid of all these pesky little lovely things flying around. And then what died? Oh wow, they actually bested that who you see finally. I don't know why but I like having a uh, uh, ODSC in there. Sure, now that we got that out of the way, we are going to be coming over here to release this interlock and kill off this face. Just because we don't like the coming having bases. And there's only two more sets to release. So after we kill off this space, we are going to be going to the 3A destination. Oh, no, Forge is fine. Uh, that's way more than enough time for us. Like it or not. <laughs> the red just turns to run away. He's like, oh shit. I screwed with the wrong crew. <laughs> so after that, we are going to be moving on to this 3A location right over here. There's also a base right there. And you can take over that base if you so wish to. But uh, I'm not going to do it since two bases is pretty much good enough. So we're just going to kill off all these flood in this area. And then get rid of this interlock. <laughs> I just love having a massive group. They're just going to do whatever they they want. Like, All whatever. God. Alright. These flood after. And we got these floods over here. Alright. So, there's our second to last one. We need, and then, uh, just gotta come over here and release this All one by this space. Oh, that's, uh, lovely. So I'm just gonna place a little head of, uh, 
Scarab, freeze it, do the same old good stuff. Can I say screw you, Scarab? And now that we got everything good and ready, we're just gonna finish this mission off. I mean, like, seriously, they can't even do anything against us, so. Uh, I don't know how I didn't, like, seriously notice that, but I guess kind of a wall. I mean, thanks for nothing, dude. I don't know why I said that, but I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, after this base is killed off, we should be able to release the store interlock, and uh, everything will be good. Button, take over this. And with that, this should be all the. What was it? The inner box in order. So that should give you guys an achievement. And with that, that is game. And like I said, that that is the final mission of this game. So there is nothing left for us to do. Besides play, multiplayer, and skirmishes, and all that good stuff. But the uh, credits should be coming up, so I'm going to let that roll and let everyone watch. I'd rather stay awake and monitor this area. Professor, there's been no sign of the Covenant for almost two weeks. There's nothing to do. But Captain... But nothing, Professor. You got us all out of there alive. Get some rest. Not all of us, Captain. Not all of us.
<laughs> you can smash your zoo now. Thanks for all the news. Captain, wake up. Something has happened. Alright guys, that is it for the campaign. We are finally done with it. So, the only other videos that we're going to be coming out for this game well, related to it are going to be the skirmish videos for um, <coughs> using Professor Anders and Prophet of Regret and followed by those two videos I'm going to be showing how I use them on multiplayer and after that it's pretty much going to be a wrap up the only other thing I might be considering throwing in there is to just kind of show off all the timeline and uh, show off every little bit of it although uh, kind of one problem with it is for some reason Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to say, for some reason, uh, there's one black box that never says I get it, even though I do, but uh, forget about that until then. Uh, there might be the bonus video of the Halo timeline for this game, and also just to kind of show off all the skulls during a little skirmish match. So do be on the lookout for those four to maybe five, six videos. And with that, I would like to thank all of you guys for watching this Let's Play series. Even if it was terrible or not, I don't care. I'm just sitting here trying to uh, show the game and for a much of you and pleasure. And with that, uh, thank you guys for watching this episode and uh, everything. So I will see you guys in the next couple of videos that I do, which will be the Professor Anders and Prophet Regret. So see you guys next time and have a good day, everyone. Thanks for watching.